Hi, I'm Ashley Bush, and welcome to the SUTV News Break for Tuesday, October 13, 2009. Today on the webcast, identity theft, a new national park, and a new documentary coming to a screen near you. This and more, straight ahead. Mark Shirtliff says you can shred your homework, and he'll help you do it. The Utah State Attorney General and 2010 Senate candidate visited campus earlier this afternoon as part of his statewide Shredding Utah tour. Shirtliff came to campus accompanied by a shredding truck, in part to urge people to protect themselves from identity theft. Students and members of the public brought paper needing shredding to a collection point in front of the student center. Then, the paper and documents will be taken by truck to a special paper shredder. If you want to shred any of your homework and you can tell your teacher that the Attorney General has shredded your homework, I guess that, that'll work too, uh, after you turn it in. During the open forum, Shirtliff spent much of his time talking about his political views and work as Attorney General. The Attorney General announced his candidacy for U.S. Senate earlier this year. He has a tough campaign ahead of him, facing off against fellow Republican and longtime friend Bob Bennett. Shirtliff will be at Dixie State College this evening for a similar event. If you're looking to protect yourself from identity theft, there are a couple of easy, everyday steps you can take. They include protecting your social security number, treating your trash and mail carefully, destroying sensitive information before disposal, and being on guard when using the internet. Set tough passwords and safeguard your purse or wallet. For more information on identity theft, visit ftc.gov slash idtheft. Should Cedar Breaks National Monument, just north of Cedar City, become a national park? Although it would be ultimately up to Congress and the President, county and state leaders are trying to decide whether or not they should push a change in designation from National Monument to National Park. Any future change in status would likely have far-reaching effects in the region. Uh, certainly implications-wise it would be big for Southern Utah University having, I don't know, 2,200, 2,500 acres adjacent to the park already, well in this case the monument at this time. Um, it'll also be interesting to see how it changes the traffic flow with just people that always kind of do what they call the Golden Tour. They'll kind of go Bryce, Zion, and then the Grand Canyon. And everybody flies in from Las Vegas, so now to see if they're going to hit Cedar Breaks National Park now as well will be interesting. Cedar Breaks was just one of many Southern Utah locations that helped inspire renowned artist Jim Jones. Jones will be the center of attention later this week as the Communication Department premieres a new documentary on his life and career. The documentary will first debut Wednesday night at a special reception in the Alumni House. It will premiere in the Great Hall on Tuesday, or sorry, Thursday. An exhibit of some of Jones's recent work will be on display at the Braithwaite Fine Arts Gallery from October 15th to December 12th. We'll have more on the documentary and art show later this week. That's all we have for today. We'll be back with another news break tomorrow. For the latest headlines, make sure to check back at SUNews.com. For SUTV, I'm Ashley Bush.